to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name's Hayley and I'm mum to two little boys. So I do everything motherhood related and shopping hauls thrown in as well. Let me just literally close that blind because I have some spots on my face. So apologies if I look like an actual toe today. Um, I've barely put makeup on for this video because we are literally about to take the boys swimming in a second. So the hair is up, my comfies are on, I've barely got any makeup on. So yeah, just excuse the state of me today. But I wanted to get this film because I have the biggest cherries haul i've probably ever done for you guys so this is a 150 pound cherries haul and i work with cherries about three times a year they are basically like an online home bargains poundland slash bnm if you're not familiar with them i'm just gonna move over because those that sun is really really annoying um so i have a 150 pound haul to show you today and the boxes were taking up space in my hallway so i just wanted to get this filmed because it's sunday today and i don't want i want to get everything put away before the week starts so let's get right into the haul we've got homeware we've got christmas stuff which i'm so excited about we've got baby stuff um cleaning products so yeah let's just get right on into it it's actually better with my blind open so we're gonna we're gonna leave it like that i'm just a little bit blind um okay so oh my god this box is actually huge and i've just upset the cat first thing i picked up was a pack of pampers which i've actually had to open because we'd run out last night so joel wears these at night time just because they're a bit more absorbent um so yeah picked up some more of those then also from the baby section, I just picked up some more talc. The boys both have this on after their baths. I'm just obsessed with the smell of it. So yeah, just got some more of that because Joel's one is running out. Then I got also from the baby section. Um, so we're weaning Reuben at the moment because he's nearly six months. And um, I just picked up some Ella's Kitchen strawberry and banana mini puffs. I just thought these would be quite good for him to hold and like chew on um, when we're out and about. He's in the pram, things like that. So I've just picked a few of those up. Then I just got another box of tissues to go in my mirrors tissue box holder because we've run out. Now I'm trying to do this haul as in order as I can, but stuff's all over the place in the box. So it might just be a bit everywhere, but I'll try and keep the Christmas stuff together at least. So then I got, because um, they do loads and loads of different snacks. I've actually eaten the snacks that I got with this haul already. So I won't show you those, but um, these are for Joel. So they're a little five pack of like the mini packs of chocolate buttons. So I thought these would be good for his lunch boxes when he goes to the childminders. And then I also got the same in the mini party rings because he loves these. So yeah, again, they're like six mini bags of party rings and I could just pop them in his lunchbox or pop them in my changing bag for a snack when we're out and about. Okay, so from their homeware section, I am obsessed with this throw. So we've already got like a faux fur throw in our living room um, in the same colour. So I thought I'd get one for our bed. So it's going to go in here. Um for winter so when we put our christmas decor up in a few weeks time um i just thought this would look really nice on our bed really warm and cozy it's a really really good size i've looked at the looked at the measurements it's a massive massive throw and it's so so soft i can't even tell you how soft this is and this was 25 pounds which i think for a throw of this quality and size that's a really really good price they also had a few different colors available as well then this is so so heavy i picked up this gorgeous marble chopping board on this little like rope so I thought this would look really nice we need some new chopping boards anyway but I also thought this would look nice just like propped up um against my kitchen splashback so it's one it's like a nice one that you can have on display it's not massive but um I, I don't need like a really big chopping board this would just be good for like chopping some fruit and veg on things like that so this was 12 pounds which is a bit more on the pricier side but it's honestly so so heavy and it's a marble chopping board so it's really really good quality then i picked up a scrub mummy so from the scrub daddy range um so this is basically for cleaning my kitchen sink and it's apparently scratch scratch free so it's not going to leave little scratches all over your sink so i've heard really good things about these i use a minky cloth at the moment so i'm going to give this a go and hopefully it's as good as everyone says it is so now we have stocking filler bits so the first lot of things are for steve stocking so i picked him up this adidas um set so there's basically an eau de toilette i think that's how you pronounce it and um a body hair face three in one like wash so um yeah just pick that up for his stocking 
they honestly have so many Christmas gifts, toys, games, things like that on cherries. So you could actually, I, I actually thought about doing a video to show you like stocking fillers for her, stocking fillers for him, stocking fillers for kids. But I just think it's going to be too much. So, um, but definitely head over to their app because they've honestly got so many little stocking fillers to suit literally everyone. So the next thing I got for Steve stocking was... <laughs> This is kind of for Steve and kind of for Joel, but I thought it was something nice that they could do together and Joel's already got enough toys and stuff for his stocking. So I'm going to put this in Steve's. So it's this set of walkie talkies. So absolutely taking you back to the 90s. Um, I just thought this was really fun for them to do together around the house and they're always chasing each other around the house and stuff. So yeah, I thought that was a really, really good present idea to pick up. Can't actually remember how much these were, but they were only like a couple of pounds. So yeah, I had to get them. So then also for Steve's stocking, I got some Radox Muscle Soak Bubble Bath. He loves this one. He doesn't really have a bath that often because men don't really. They just tend to have showers. Um, but when he does, he likes to use this one because he plays football and stuff. So his muscles get a bit like tense and sore. So yeah, picked him up some of his favourite bubble bath. Then I got him a... Um, air freshener for his car so this is the new car scent I love this one and then I picked one up for me as well because I am getting a new car um I'm going to pick it up on Saturday I'm so excited it's literally like the car that I've wanted for so long so um yeah I'm sure I'll show you in a vlog or something but yeah getting my Audi on Saturday and I'm so excited so I've got an air freshener for that and then yeah just one for Steve's stocking as well because they're just good little stocking fillers then I got him some toffee fee for his stocking. He just knows that I get him this every single Christmas. It's his absolute favourite tree and he only gets it at Christmas. So um, yeah, I'm going to pop that in his stocking as well. Then I got him a mini wireless speaker. So we actually had loads of these and I just don't know where they disappear to. So he doesn't currently, currently have one, but we just like these for using in the garden in the summer. So I think this was, I want to say this was £7, but... Um, they had it in a few different colours as well, so I nearly got him the grey, but I thought the black was quite stylish. And this is, um, yeah, a Bluetooth mini speaker. So yeah, we can just use this in the garden in the summer, which he does tend to quite a lot. So I thought that was another good little stocking filler for him. I think that's it for Steve's stocking fillers that I got from Cherries. He's obviously got a few other bits, but from like different shops. So that was it for those. But I got Joel a few bits for his stocking as well. So he's already got quite a lot that I got in home bargains and places like that. But I just saw a couple of bits on Cherries and kind of had to pick them up. So um, he suddenly decided that he's obsessed with, I mean, he's obsessed with all construction vehicles, cars, things like that. But he's obsessed with motorbikes at the moment. So whenever he sees one, he goes crazy. So they have this little motorbike toy. They've got it in blue on there as well um but i thought i'd get the red because it's festive this was like one pound something and you pull it back and let it go and it races so i thought that was quite fun for him to do he's got a little um like play mat for his cars with like roads on so he can use it on there then i got him um i thought this was really really cute so it's a little animals um kaleidoscope so i remember having these when i was little and obviously he can twist the end look through there's loads of pretty like beads and colours for him to look at. So he quite likes stuff like this. This was again like £1.20 or something. So I just thought that was another cute little stocking filler. Then in the stationery section, they randomly had this bug viewer. So he is obsessed with looking at bugs in the garden, like wood lice, spiders, things like that. So I thought this was quite cute. Again, this was like £1 something. It's got a little carry thing on it so he can pop it around his neck. Um, but he can just use this like in his mud kitchen in the summer. Um, so it's got a vent and everything so it's not cruel um, you just pop them in here there's a little pair of tweezers as well um, if you want to safely get the bug back out and free it again but yeah there's a little like magnifying glass so he can look at the bugs really closely and I just thought that was really really cute for any curious toddler that loves looking at like creepy crawlies outside then I got him this little mini um, tower stack game. So it's like Jenga, like a mini Jenga game. Um, again, he loves stuff like this. He loves building towers. We went to a birthday party for his friend in the summer and they had giant Jenga outside and he was absolutely loving it. So um, I thought that was quite a little, cute little game that we can play as a family that I know he will love. So the next thing that I got was just a tube of white Milky Bar buttons for Joel's. Um, I think I'm going to put these in his Christmas Eve box. Um, or his stocking. So yeah, just pick those up for him. Then the last two things in this box, um, I got this gorgeous bamboo bottle brush, obviously for cleaning Ruben's bottles, because um, we've just got a grey plastic one at the moment. I just thought this would look a bit nicer in our kitchen. Um, this was no more than a couple of pounds. So yeah, I had to pick that one up. 
And then I just got a um, it's W7, the Dewy Fixer Setting Spray. So it's a long lasting makeup fixer. I I ran out of fixer a while ago and haven't been using it, but um, my makeup does tend to come off around here towards the end of the day. So I thought I'd give this a go because it was only a couple of pounds and I did Google it before I put it in my basket just to read the reviews on it and they seem to be good. So yeah, just gonna give this one a go, see if it works. Okay, we are on to the second box, um, which actually there's not as much stuff in this box. So we are getting there guys. So the first thing that I picked up was a collapsible laundry basket. So this was £12 and I did have a little Google just to check the prices elsewhere and this was definitely the cheapest. So it's not the biggest laundry basket in the world. It's a little bit smaller than our current one, but you can just pile stuff up in it. So this will be fine. Um, but we've got one at the moment and we literally have like the tiniest storage cupboard in the entire world in this house. So can't put my laundry basket in there. So I've ended up just putting it in the garden when we're not using it. So I thought this is absolutely amazing because this will go in my tiny little storage cupboard and it all just folds up. I haven't done that very neatly at all, but yeah, it basically all just folds flat so that I can easily store it if you don't have much storage in your house. So I absolutely had to get that. So then on to the couple of cleaning products that I got. I got some more of my Sif Stainless Steel Perfect Finish um, spray. This is a Mrs. Hinch favourite and I use this all the time for my sink and my hob and my extractor fan. It's absolutely amazing um, and I wouldn't be without it. And we just ran out so I had to get some more. Then I got some um, Astonish Toilet Bowl Fizz and Fresh Tablets. I've heard good things about these so I thought I would give them a go. So I think there is... There's eight tablets in here. So I'm going to go and pop one in my toilet in a minute and try them out because it actually needs a little clean. Then I also just picked up some more duck toilet bleach because we are about to run out. Then I got this fast acting microwave steam cleaner. So it says it works in just two minutes. It's only a two pack, but I think it was like a pound. Um, I nearly got two of these, but I thought I'll get a box and just try it first. Um, but it says it removes stubborn food stains and grime and removes germs and bacteria in just two minutes. So you just pop it in the microwave and I uh, guess turn the mic microwave on and it just, yeah, turn the microwave on high for two minutes, wipe away any residue with a clean cloth or sponge. So you just empty one sachet into the tray provided and basically turn your microwave on for two minutes. And I just thought that was easier because I'd been using a spray on it, but I just thought this I can basically just leave. So I'm going to give that a go. Then I got some Fabulosa FOMO Ultra Foaming Fresher and Sanitizer. So this is for sinks, drains and plug holes. So sometimes our um, drain in the kitchen sink just smells a little bit not very fresh so I thought I'll chuck some of this down there it smells absolutely amazing it's so strong I can smell it through the bottle so I thought I would give that a go in my kitchen sink nearly done guys I'm going to do Christmas bits last because they're really exciting um so I picked up some Lenore crease releaser in the gold orchid scent this smells absolutely amazing I, again I can smell this through the bottle I've heard such good things about this I haven't tried it but I'm literally not an ironer so I thought anything that's going to help me out a little bit um, I am all for. So like I said, I've heard amazing things about this, so I can't wait to try it. So then I just got a um, Garofalo bubble bath for the kids. I thought that was really, really cute. I haven't decided whether I'm going to pop it in Joel's stocking or just give it to them now. Um, but yeah, they Joel loves the Garofalo, so I just thought that was really, really cute. I think that was about £3. So I was so excited to see these on their website. These were £2 each, I think, um, but which is actually really good compared to what some people sell them for online. Um, so I got these are basically the body wash, shampoo and um, conditioner dispensers. So these always go in and out of stock on their website all the time because I've seen them on there before. And then they disappeared and now they've come back again. So you'll have to be quick if you want these. But basically I already have a set in my shower, but I've had them for about three, like nearly four years now. And they've gone like all lime scaly. And this bit round here is like matte rather than shiny. I just think it looks nicer in the shiny material. It sounds really stupid. Um, but yeah, I picked up a new set of these for my bath. Oh my God, there's literally so much stuff. I'm gonna have fun packing this away in a minute. Um, okay, so I think, no, we've got two more things and then Christmas bits. Um, so I got this long hot water bottle. This is 72 centimeters long. How cozy does this look? So I just thought for um, winter, this would be perfect because it literally 
goes down your whole body and you can just hug it in bed. So yeah, I just thought that was really nice because I love a hot water bottle. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love a hot water bottle. I just find it so comforting. Um, and this is obviously the perfect time of year for it. Um, but I find like the normal size water bottles, they're not like enough. So I just thought this would be absolutely perfect for me to just like hug in bed. And I think this was about six pounds. I really need to start writing the prices down of things, but it wasn't too expensive and they have different colors as well. Um, so then I just picked up this Wild Wonders wooden rattle for Ruben stocking. I thought this was really, really cute. They have one of these at a play group we go to um, the other week and he loved it. So it's basically just got a lion on that side and an elephant on that side and the little balls in the middle. So I tend to do him now that he's a bit older, I'll put, do like a little treasure basket of toys for him. And I just thought this would be quite cute to go in there. So that is going to go in Ruben's stocking. Okay, on to the few Christmas bits. So would it even be Christmas without a Toblerone? I purely just picked this up for myself and I'm probably just gonna eat this tonight because it's Sunday and I just wanna get all the snacks in. Um, I can't actually get this back on now. But yeah, they've covered it in like the festive wrapping it just makes me so excited for christmas because toblerone for me is literally like the taste of christmas then i got this gorgeous um christmasy wax melt holder so um yeah it's the one that you just pop the candle in and i can pop my festive wax melts in here i just thought the little christmas tree design was really really cute and that was only like a couple of pounds so i had to pick that up i'm probably going to put this one in my hallway then i'd actually seen these in home bargains um but didn't know whether to get one or not because the boys are still quite young um but i thought i'll just get it and then i've got it for future years so i've got this santa please stop here so again this was only a couple of pounds and I can either pop it by I might just pop it by our Christmas tree this year and then when they get older every Christmas Eve we can pop it outside the front of the house in one of my plant pots so yeah I just think that's something that we will use year after year so it will actually grow with them then I got this little um, LED festive tree for Rubens I'm probably going to put this in his Christmas Eve box so like I said he's going to be seven months at Christmas um so i just thought this would be quite a nice little sensory thing for him and then as they get older i should have actually got one for joel because i thought as they get older they can both have one in their bedrooms when we put the christmas decor up and they can just have it on when they're going to sleep at night um because it's just a color changing it lights up and changes color um i'm not going to pull the tab out yet to show you because i want to keep it new for um christmas eve but yeah i thought that was quite a cute little sensory thing just to pop in his christmas eve box because he's literally um like fascinated by looking at bright lights and things like that okay last couple of things i got this felt beaded star i haven't really bought many new christmas decorations this year because we've just got so many um but i thought this was really really cute and uh, if I don't use it on the tree, I could pop it in Reuben's nursery or something like that, um, just while the Christmas decor is up. So yeah, I thought that was quite a cute Christmas decoration. They've got so many lovely little decorations on there, guys. I just didn't really need that many. But if you're looking for some, then cherries actually have quite a few that I really, really liked the look of. Um, then I got a Santa footprint stencil because it's the first year that Joel is, because um, he's nearly two and a half, it's the first year that he's actually starting to understand a little bit more. Um, so I've got some snow spray from B&M, so I'm going to do this on Christmas Eve when he's gone to bed. And he's got his little Santa plate to put um, treats on this year for the first year ever because he's actually starting, like I said, starting to understand. Um, so yeah, just thought that was a bit of fun. It was £1.29, I think, and it wipes clean so you can just reuse it year after year. They also had one with little elf footprints on as well, if you're into like the whole elf thing. Then I just got some bauble hooks. These were like £1 something, because I don't know about you guys, but every single year when I get some decorations out of the loft, there's always like at least one or two baubles that have um, the, what do you call it, like the tie or the hook missing, and it really, really... Is so annoying so i got a 200 pack of bauble hooks and then the last thing that i got last but not least i think that's the last thing is um the nutcracker book so i love adding to the boys christmas book collection every year obviously we pack their christmas books away um throughout the year and then at the start of december i get them out so they've got loads of christmasy books for bedtime throughout december so i thought this was a really nice one to add to their collection this was three pounds i think um they've also got a christmas carol on there as well i think um but yeah they've got i didn't i just, just decided not to get that one for them but i thought the cover on this was really nice so i'm going to display this on joel's bookshelf in his bedroom for december 
So that is everything that I have picked up in cherries. I hope this hasn't been too long and I haven't bored you guys to death. Thank you so much for watching. If I managed to get a discount code for them because this wasn't actually a um, YouTube collaboration, this was a collab for me to go live on their app, which I am doing this week. Um, but I just thought I'd film this for you guys anyway because there's so many like good Christmas ideas here. And this is probably one of my favourite hauls that I've done um, with them. So if I, I'm going to try and get a discount code for you guys. I'm going to contact Cherries this week and see if they will give me one. Um, and if I do manage to get one for you, I will pop it in the description box down below. Normally, I get a 20% discount code for your first order on their app. So it's on first orders only, guys. So definitely head over and give them a go. Um, so many little bargains on there. Amazing Christmas bits, little gifts for stockings. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah.